The change your BMW bonnet or boot badge, the process is quite straightforward. This particular badge is the type without the self adhesive on the back. If it's got self adhesive on, the process is a little bit different. The badge is held on at the back by two prongs, one either side, one at the 3 o'clock position and one at the 9 o'clock position, and they go into a plastic grommet. What you have to do, the badge has to be prized off the car and one way of doing that is using an old credit card, don't use your, a new one or else it might get destroyed, and a cloth. And what we have to do, we have to try and locate an area under the badge where there's a little bit of a, a space, where I can feel a bit of a space here. So the first thing I'll do is put the cloth on the paintwork to protect it and put the card in there and just try to squeeze it under the edge of the badge. As you see the card's gone under and we need to get as much pressure as possible on the positions where the, the the prongs are inside. So then I'll just leave it up a little bit and I'm going to have to do this on both sides and move it to the other side and do the same again. And this might take a few minutes, always making sure that the cloth is in the position that it doesn't uh, allow the, the credit card to damage the paintwork. It can be quite tight. This can also be done with a screwdriver, but you've got to be very careful with a screwdriver that you don't slip and damage your paintwork. All we have to do is to get the badge off sufficiently so we can get our fingers under it to lift it off. It is moving. As you see, it is lifting. It's not quite far enough at the moment, so I keep on prizing it off. Obviously, the more sturdier the credit card, the easier it is. That's quite far off on this side at the moment. I can almost get my fingers under. Probably is quite safe at this point to use a screwdriver. I can almost get my fingers under, starting to prise it off. Can be quite tight if it's been on for a length of time. As you can see the badge is removing. The grommets underneath don't normally come off but if they do come off it's not a problem they can be replaced quite easily. This one does actually have a little bit of self adhesive just on the, uh, on the back of it which is not normal on this badge. And I'm just going to pull it out a little bit more, there it is, and it's come off. Now this, this doesn't look normal, I think somebody's actually put this on. Normally they just uh, slot straight in. Uh, two prongs go into each of these plastic grommets. And that one's come out a little bit, just push it in, you very rarely need to replace them. The fitting of the new badge is just the opposite of what I've just done. First of all we can clean up the area around it. to make sure it's nice and clean underneath. The new badge doesn't have any self adhesive on it. It's not required on this particular car. Two prongs on the back of the new badge. Position them one in each hole and just simply push. And there you are. It's as simple as that. The Fitting of the new badge is a lot easier than the removal of the old one. The most important thing to remember is to keep a cloth underneath the credit card or if you decide to use a screwdriver, the screwdriver itself, to make sure that you don't damage your paintwork. 